又不失礼貌的微笑。好的，我靠，每次有人在旁边就有点紧张。啊，我们才紧张吧？<笑><笑>
like set up my own brand or work for other brand all I want to do is to keep creating my own work yeah what uh, did they say anything no no <laughs> um, what are the questions the other ask? question is I forgot <laughs> <laughs> Your concept. Oh yeah, yeah, they ask where your inspiration come from, mm -hmm. and I say where are your inspirations? Yeah, come from? I really like vintage clothes, and they have amazing technique in the past, so I can touch it and feel it. Yeah, and the third question is, what's your favorite? Oh designer? yeah, they ask some of us, oh, who's your favorite designer and what artwork inspired you. Yeah. What artwork inspired me? So in this time, my favorite favorite designer is Simu Rocha. I think her style is very match my style, so I said it. Yeah, and the interviewer said your work yeah. looks like you. The like. print leader said your work is looks like you. So. Yeah, and you're very like print <laughs> girl. You're yeah. always wearing like flowery, <laughs> like pattern and bright colors yeah. and everything. And I think you guys can see when you see this work and see this girl and see the samples and everything, you can just like, feel, yeah, this is her. I think this is really important when it comes to the interview. You just stand out as you. You're not trying to be anybody else and you have a distinct Yeah, you need to show your personality style. and style. Yeah. yeah. Did you, were, were you nervous during the interview? No? Very no. Are you, are you nervous when you're having a, the interview? Yeah, because my interview is on the two PM. So yeah. I woke up very early on eight, but I just went to watch a movie on my MacBook because I don't want to do anything. But yeah. at that day, I'm very afraid, so I can't eat anything. But I like force myself to eat something because I'm so hungry. It's very nervous for me. Yeah, very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember that day. I don't think I eat anything. I eat <laughs> anything on that day either. I didn't even drink coffee because I was already too like. Mm -hmm. I think on my interview day. Yeah, I don't want back to, to the day. It's feels so bad. So how do you feel now? Oh, and how long after the interview you got your offer? I this is so weird no, because last year we waited a long about. time. That's a very nice experience. So at the Monday we went to school and yeah. to like take a lecture. Yeah. And we back to one coffee shop and I saw the. Instagram story this has got offer. <laughs> so yeah, three of us just sit on the coffee shop and feel nothing. I just I want to go back to home and want to close the door and I'm so sad because we didn't get anything. Yeah. yeah. So and then I back to my room on like six PM at that day and I checked my I think UL you were messaging me before yeah. or just around that yeah I checked my UL portal it's an application website for UL and it said if they ask you for some document then it, you will be like accepted by the course and I saw like fashion print and they asked me the visa and passport Aww. so I just <laughs> sent, my, the, uh, sent some message to my friend and my friend called said uh, you are in but at that night I'm not very sure I still don't think I got in yeah but last like the day after, after that day I got the UCAS one it happened between me and Maggie and it still felt so real right even yeah. though you saw that yeah. congratulations <laughs> or did I say congratulations yeah I just said offer received and won this yeah the thumbs up yeah. yeah yeah it's so real it feels so surreal <laughs> yeah, here we go. Fashion print next year, you're gonna see this lovely girl <laughs> on first year. Okay, let's move on to our lovely Maggie. Like, I haven't bring my portfolio and I Why? Just <laughs> <laughs> Why? I specifically <laughs> asked. Uh, oh no, I didn't ask portfolio. I just asked them to share something like yeah. represents their style and like illustration and sample <laughs> and she really wanted to do neat well so <laughs> yeah so, and weirdly she got in print by using <laughs> yeah, yeah by using oh, yes. some pattern <laughs> the color right <laughs> it's color because um mainly because i think i like i uh combine my neat and my print like 
exactly together. So. Oh my god, that's what I want to know how to do it. So you can tell me. <laughs> yeah. So see, a, a foundation girl who just got a print offer knows how to knit things that a BA knit person <laughs> don't know how. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I feel like pathways really don't matter that much. Yeah. Just like you do whatever you want to do. If you like print, but you still want to do it through knitwear or you like print and I don't know, just say like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, tell us something. Yeah, because I like color really much and then my interview interviewer asked me why I choose like print and knit and I said like color is really like a... I really like color and I really like to use color so... Um, also, like when they see my sample, and then they just know what I just need to wear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is using like wire. And yeah, wire. Use wire things. and put some stuff, like really cute stuff inside. And you know, hand knitting and machine knitting, so you combine those yeah. two together. Right? Yeah. This is like a big bigger piece, like I combine the hand knitting and the, the crochet and the machine knitting together. Where did you learn all this like crochet, hand knitting, machine knitting? Before I applied for a foundation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, yeah, once I learned how to do this, I just fell in love with it, so. I decided to apply for knitwear before I apply for foundation. <laughs> so, so even before you do your foundation, you already know you're gonna apply yeah. for knitwear. But yeah. unlike me, I was totally thinking about women's wear. <laughs> <laughs> like before I got in foundation and after a year of exploring, and I realized, okay, I really want to do knitwear. That's so cool. So did you do any like big piece, like a garment or anything to the interview? Not actually, because I did some like combining like samples and did some development and yes, <laughs> I did, did not actually do like a big garment so. <laughs> so it's like, it's also, maybe it's not necessary even though applying for BA. I think they... Did, did everyone bring like a final garment thing to the interview? No. Nobody brought like a final garment thing? Uh, most of them I think they took pictures and like some of them like me they did not make the final garment because I, I think they focus more on the development process and the samples or something like that. Yeah. What about you? Did you make Oh like yeah, I made one and then I did a photo shoot. Is the photo shoot super nice? No, just yeah. Find my friend and do it. Do, do, do they like ask about your final outcome a lot? No, they don't really care. No, I think the foundation tutor doesn't ask us. The process and development is the most boring. important. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Important. Like, I think they know you're from foundation, mm -hmm. so they don't really require you to know that much about making clothes. I remember like Chris told us, even though you just like glue glue papers together or just a staple everything together oh. as, as long as it's, it's like intentional it's okay you don't need to be like amazing at sewing or making clothes or anything because you're gonna learn everything from the start on BA as well um, and oh you made this very professional what's this do you know what do you want to show Label. Yeah, so it's like I think it's really important to consider how you present your samples as mm -hmm. well, especially for like textile students and knitwear students. You can't just like throw everything in in a box, and when they are all tangled together, they are supposed to be like this is ironed as well, right? Like, and I also like label here like which project it belongs to. Oh, yeah. so you label your sketchbook as well yeah. in the interview? Yeah. Cool. Show us your illustration. <laughs> <laughs> a I'm tiny one and a so one. embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be. Worst we are very far away from the camera. <laughs>
This well, is so cute. my print, my print skill is really different from my illustration Hi. style. <laughs> it's like this is like the development process, so you can't like decide because you see like I combine some samples here. Do you think people can see? No. Uh. <laughs> 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 I guess maybe just zoom in. Yeah. I guess you can see something. <laughs> this is like one of my final <laughs> illustration, and I, um, and that bigger one is like the development linked to this too, and you can see the color linking here and the materials. Uh, yeah. So basically, you can't just like draw for I don't know. Just pay attention to things you draw. It has to have a purpose for like developing your ideas, like after you made a sample like this, how you want to use it, you want to show it. Maybe you only made a tiny piece, but you can make it bigger and more crazy or just like exaggerate everything on the body and do an illustration and show people how you wish it be, something like that. And I remember on foundation you always have this kind of <laughs> yeah, mark making this, page. <laughs> cut this from that like the big structure things yeah. when we did the group project. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that brings me to the question, how's your CSM foundation experience? Did you enjoy it? And like what kind of things you've learned and do, do you think you guys have like grow a lot? Grown, grown a lot since you got information to now. Yeah. The first thing is I think that I do my I do my work like more like quicker than before. <laughs> That's the first Why? thing. Because tutors force you. Um, it's like everyone around you that the quicker than you. So I just <laughs> force myself to do quicker and quicker. Although it's. Like I still need to be quicker. <laughs> yeah, and then also like each project project is like a short period, so we really need to speed up. Usually is is it still like two weeks, three weeks, one week? One to two weeks usually. Did you use all your foundation work for applying for PR as well? Um not really, like cause I came from diagnostic mode and like before the specialist, I, I didn't bring the work before the specialist. Yeah, that's also why I invited uh, these two because I was from fashion textile pathway from the beginning on my foundation, but they did the diagnostic pathway, so it's quite different. They started doing fashion textile focused project in the middle of the term, I think. Yeah, four weeks after. And it was very close to applying. Yeah, no, I think just one month. Yeah. Yeah. Were, were you nervous? Like, you, did you feel like behind other people? I think so. A yeah. little bit, yeah. Yeah, because but, I think yeah. they got amazing drawing technique better than us. Oh yeah, so because we did a lot of drawing yeah. like yeah. classes before we mm -hmm. divided into different pathways. So did you guys not have enough like drawing classes when you? Go to fashion textile. No drawing class before in fashion no. and textile. They like each week we did different pathway like three D fine art things, and they yeah. don't actually have like a drawing class. They just ask us to finish the like the same same task they give us for the diagnostic students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. We only have drawing class after we go to the specialist. That is kind of weird. So you didn't get to use any of the diagnostic part work for your application? Yeah, no. Okay. What about you, your experience? Yeah, because we took fan art, 3D design and graphic design. For some of the, some of the parts, we are not really good at it. So on the class, I'm not feel that good, mm -hmm. but it's good experience. Yeah. Did you did you feel like you got to use any of the skill you learned from diagnostic part? Why? No, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs>
because <laughs> I think like we two have uh, we 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 have already know what we want to go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, unlike those, uh, who, there are some people who are yeah. exploring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? they didn't even know if they want to do fashion or yeah. textile or anything. I think it's a good pathway to go if you don't really know what you want to yes. do, but for art. And and the reason you guys went to diagnostic is because it's because the spy specialist just closed before our interview day, just before the day we got the interview, so we can't apply for it. Yeah. 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 So you all wanted to do fashion textile at that time. It's not like you haven't made up your mind yet. Yeah. yeah. So if you know you want to do fashion textile, it's always better to just like apply for fashion textile from the start. But if you're still exploring and not sure, maybe diagnostic. But still I feel like it's a maybe because foundation is like really intense and really short before the interview. You don't get enough time for a pathway focused portfolio if you spend time doing graphic design, 3D design, things yeah. like that. But it's also I think it also doesn't mind because lots of students from like fine art and architecture get into like knitwear this what? year. What? Yeah. <laughs> they are not even from fashion textile. Yeah. No. And they applied for fashion. Yeah, like yeah, one architecture student and one fine art student get, get into knitwear this year. So it doesn't She's really not happy. matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter what pathway because if you like real because if, I think if tutors really see you are talented in this yeah. pathway, they will give you offer. So how do an uh, architecture student do need well work? Do they already know how to knit or something? I think for knit it's very weird this year because we don't really got some students who know how to knit. Uh, maybe they just maybe want they're to trying visit. to explore yeah. as well, try something different. Like Art, it's a really a artistic yeah. pathway, like knitwear. This yeah, year. because like maybe they think people are a bit limited mm -hmm. when they think about knit. Well, yeah. it's like it's not always just like yarn and machine knitting, hand knitting. Like, I think in a way it makes sense because like architecture yeah. and fine art, three D. You really need to have that thinking of like three D way of thinking about things, to do structure, to make interesting shapes on the body, because I will, I do notice, like for us, like we are need to our students, we tend to make really flat on the body, like yeah. stretched, simple kind of garment, yeah. like, but if you have that architecture, artistic way of thinking, maybe it would be different. I don't know, maybe like this year they are trying something different as well. That's why they see print potential in this new program. <laughs> yeah, and I think like print teacher really want to see students doing like samples delicately and good drawing skills, painting skills also. When you say delicately, you mean like like not like the simple samples, I think. <laughs> so like high skilled. <laughs> not not really high skilled, but like. Sample is important for print, I think. Like, yeah, and it's another way for print. I, I know, I knew so little about print before. It's like people I hang out with on foundation, nobody did print. <laughs> so all I saw was like crazy stuff like this, but they were applying for textile, or like knitwear. But this is like literally the first time I see so close to like. Uh, print kind of work and it's like just like see how much detail there yeah. is on this sample like all the embroidery like but I think all it's, the layers yeah. but this is love <laughs> yeah like literally I think it, it's so important do you feel love when you hold this there's yeah, like a love. explosion of passion of love of like ambition and like how much time is gonna take you for one piece like I think for drawing maybe one night because right. I don't fall asleep like <laughs> before twelve o'clock. <laughs> but I, I think it's my own style because I saw some of my friends they also got in print. But so cool. yeah, 
Yeah, some of them print is kind of abstract one. Mine is very detailed because I love detail. So not everyone need to be so detailed. Just find your own, own style. style. Yeah, yeah, your own style is so important. Mm -hmm. Like you imagine so many people are there. You can't compare with anyone. Yeah. The minute you start comparing with other people, you you just you lose yourself and you yeah. just make things that don't make sense and you don't like. I, I can always feel when somebody opens up a sketchbook and they're doing something they don't like because it makes me uncomfortable because you just want to hold things that's made of love, you know, it's like, yeah. imagine, oh my god, I want to wear this. Yeah, I think just do what you want and what you love, interviewer will see your passion in yeah. your work. How much do you want to charge if this is a whole garment, like a dress, a coat or something? I don't know. <laughs> Crisis. <laughs> this is so pretty. So did you do do you guys feel like you got a lot of help from your tutors for your portfolio yeah. on foundation? Yeah, because I think my style is kind of floral and romantic one and my tutor told me that don't do so many flowers, you need to explore more and do more research. So maybe for my final project in the foundation year I I will try not to bring so many flowers in my work. I have a question though. You love flowers so much, so how do you do your project, like concept-wise? What do you do? Yeah, I think for this project, it's very easy for me to bring flowers in because it's called culture as well. Yeah. And um, so I researched my personality and culture. And for me, I really love flowers when I was young because my grandparents, they really like to grow flowers. Yeah, I think I just love something beautifully. Maybe not so many answers to answer why I like flowers. No, I don't think it has to have a reason. It's like when you check her Instagram, it's like flowers, yeah. like fresh flowers. Yeah. How much money you spent on flowers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I was wondering. Like, that's fresh flowers that's gonna die in two days. Yeah, so all my research are from the photo of my fresh flowers. And the face is mine, maybe. like. I just beautiful in my face. Yeah, I, I like I, I like uh, the the kind of people who are that obsessed uh, with little things about themselves and don't feel weird or ashamed or uncomfortable about that. But like embrace that you are definitely embracing this floral like thing about you, and you are being that kind of very colorful, floral, sort of, you, and doing your work, and you enjoy doing all this, right? Yeah, and I really love embroidery. Yeah. <laughs> Did you learn it from somewhere, or you just, like, figure yeah, things out? Yeah, I think out? three years ago, I just know this technique, and I just, like, read some books, and found some interesting pattern on the internet, and I bought some beads, and just work on it. So it's my favorite thing, embroidery and beading techniques. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. Yeah, and it's very good technique to combine with your print. Print, yeah, yeah especially print. It's like it makes something really 2D flat mm -hmm. becomes 3D, and it has nice texture as well, right? But you can't really wash this, right? So it's like you think mm -hmm. your design is gonna be so expensive, <laughs> and you can't wear it to eat stuff, drink stuff. <laughs> What about you? Do you think you got a lot of help for your portfolio from your tutors on Samsung Foundation? Yes, because like before, I only I was like only know how to do samples, and I like after after one tutorial, and then my tutor, Plus Alice, <laughs> <laughs> told me that. Uh, Big shout out, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I doubt that I'll watch my video, but yeah. <laughs> like, uh, she told me that I got lots of samples, but I really need to focus more on developing my silhouettes. And before, my silhouettes is a little bit like abstract, although it's still abstract. <laughs> I think it's like a common, I don't know, do you think it's a weakness for me to our people? We just have no idea what to write in. Well, I think like during my development, I 
got some like clear like pencil like structure drawing but I think like final is final if illustration doesn't need to be like yeah illustration just like style it, it needs that your own style that's it mm -hmm. Do you think your drawing style is improved on foundation or you were already like this before you got in foundation? Um, before I got into foundation, I really did not know how to use like, how to say that? Flabby is how to say it. Crayon? Crayon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so I seldom use this material before I got I uh, use more like watercolor things, yeah. I don't know how to use watercolor, I really need to learn. There's so many things we need to learn. It's like especially when you see other people using those techniques. No matter it's like drawing, painting or like technique wise making samples and you realize see just like looking at other people's work and you think, okay, I need to learn watercolor. I want to learn embroidery, I want to learn how to do digital print and I don't know, I need to have an interesting hobby so I can make interesting work, I don't know I sometimes feel boring, like, oh my god, why am I so boring? Like, like those people, they're so interesting, their work is so interesting So it's like, you need to cover a lot of things, it's not just like sit there making things that you don't enjoy yeah, and doesn't make sense there's yeah. another thing we learn from foundation we can see each other's work yeah. and talk about each other's work you can see so many amazing work from your classmates mm -hmm. and they will inspire you yeah i think i yeah. talked about that mm -hmm. in my previous video as well i think the good thing about being on sesame foundation is not about not that much about tutors but mm -hmm. about learning from your peers but I heard there was some unpleasant copying yeah. going on on your foundation. Yeah, I think just be yourself. Don't care the CSM style. Just create oh, your own that style. CSM style. Yeah. I hate it when people <laughs> like ask that. But yeah. th this is weird. I think I can't say there is not. There's no CSM style because kind of there is a sense yeah. CSM style because it's like. Even when you like see your work, your work, my work, like when we put them together, really they're different. kind of different, but they're also very CSM, mm. I would say, yeah. in a way. Because some people told me that my illustration is not that CSM. So I think, yeah, I still think I need to improve on my illustration. But not because to want to make it more CSM. Yeah, like. Because I'm also that kind of people that not really good at silly things. Yeah. So I need to practice more. Mm -hmm. And I think for CSM, they like like losing drawing, to lose your hand. Yeah, it's kind like of that free. They just like want you things. to relax yeah. and enjoy. Like don't be too, what's that? Tight and precious about every single line you make yeah. Yeah. So they want that mood and they want to feel passion through your drawing as well but drawing is definitely my weakness as well so I, I don't even have that much tips for anyone but yeah I think we are all in that what's that colorful catalog right mm -hmm. in general yeah and there are, pe there, there are people who ask me do they have to be colorful to get in CSM? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, because I... some of our women's wear friends, I think they are in black and white style. But I think just be yourself. Yeah. yeah, if you are a black and white and really cool color you kind need to of person, really good at structure things. Yeah, just do those things. Because I remember like when I saw some people who don't enjoy colors that much and try to be colorful oh my god those colors <laughs> are horrible they are like angry colors are shouting I hate yeah. this I hate this so it just you have to do what you enjoy and that mood is gonna affect everything so it just feels yeah uh, I think somebody just asked on Instagram like what do you think is the essential tip or quality to make a successful portfolio? Don't fall in sleep, just keep working! <laughs> <laughs> just keep working! <laughs> so did you guys sleep in this whole foundation yet? <laughs> we sleep.
lip a lot the, before the before two two weeks before the application. So like, <laughs> oh, so did you? Oh, you were still doing your work before your interview, right? Yeah, like, I still do. Even the night before, even as night I before. heard. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't go to sleep. For two days and just stay in CSM library. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the 48 hours. I haven't even slept in CSM library yet, even though I'm already doing BI. No. <laughs> I haven't slept in the library, but just keep working, working, working for, for, for like 48 hours oh to the last minute. Okay, and did, did you, do you think you produced good work during that time or you were just doing things to make yourself feel good? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think like um, at that pressure, I really like do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you? Were you still working before your interview? I, I watched the movie on the morning <laughs> because I don't really want to do anything and I'm so stressed. Yeah. Yeah, and I watched my way, I had coffee, and then I took the, the underground to King's Cross to took my interview. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, I delivered my portfolio into the room, and then I just go to the dining room and eat. <laughs> and, oh and my gosh, she ate. I didn't eat. Oh, stress <laughs> eating. <laughs> stress eating. And I just, my two of my friends sit in front of me, and they have... They are like the BA students and they sit in front of me and they see me eat lots of chips. <laughs> Keep on eating, eating, eating. <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's so funny. Everyone feels everyone feels that day differently. What happened to me was I I also like put the portfolio in that room because I got up so late that morning. I actually didn't do any hair or makeup and I was wearing whatever. So I actually dropped my portfolio and I came back and I changed and I did everything <laughs> and I went back to school. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> I was just like, okay, don't remember me. I'm just gonna drop my portfolio. You will see me in an hour and I'll be different. <laughs> yeah, and I just laughed. It's so funny. Um, actually, you reminded me some question I wanted to ask. Uh, mistakes you think you've made on your foundation? Mistakes? <laughs> None. <laughs> because I made so many mistakes. So yeah, so pick yeah. one hundred of them just. <laughs> mm. Maybe Maggie could. I just okay, you go first. first. I did think go first. She has too many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> mistakes. Um. Why is it so hard? This question. Maybe sleep too much on the beginning and uh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and sleep too less before the interview. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's Don't a sleep time. Too much. It's a time managing. Yeah, time, time managing. managing. It's time really time really important. So it's time for me to do a time management yeah, I think <laughs> video so. for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> because I think your time management will very amazing. I saw your blog and you went yeah. to so many space and you can do amazing you, work. You know what, it, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't just happen in a day because like I told you guys, I already did my BA degree in China before and I went through all this like working 24 hours, no sleep thing and I, I stressed eating, stress eating so much and it's like my, my it's like, it's like up and down, up and down and yeah. like my health and my like mental health just like went really crazy so it took me a long time to figure out I can't be working 24 hours. I have to sleep, I have to eat healthy, I have to do things besides working and to function well. I think it's a process to figure out, yeah. And I think most foundation students don't really realize how important it is to do time management. Do, did you guys get asked by tutors to do timetable and stuff? Maybe we just ignored it. <laughs> yeah, I think nobody really do that, but we are actually, w I was asked to do like timetable for like big project, especially mm -hmm. the project you got during this time, like the final project. They will ask you to do a timetable and you will give yourself like tasks like 
write them specific down. I'm gonna finish my research during this week and next week I'm gonna move on to development. No matter what that's gonna happen. And I'm gonna do material shopping on this weekend and I'm gonna check if the shops are open and everything. And you figure everything out. And I remember so many people were like, we are artists, <laughs> we don't do timetable. Yeah. I work when I wanna work, that kind of thing. But sometimes it just doesn't work, right? I think that's my mistakes to yeah. stay up late. Yeah, it's like you, you need to be a bit more stressed from the beginning of foundation, I think. And just like move the stress like forward a little bit from the start instead of being too stressed out at the end yeah. before the interview. And you do better work before anyway. I think when it's close to the interview, you're already like stressed out already. So is that the only mistake you guys have made? <laughs> yeah, we don't know how to manage our time. That's the biggest mistake, yeah. I think. Yeah, and okay. we slept at 9 a.m. and got up at 4 p.m. <laughs> and then work. You're and like the opposite of me. I go to bed around like 9 and I got up like 5 or 6 or something. I need to change it, really. Yeah, just switch. I don't know. It's like a personal thing, but also it's still time management. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Mm. What other questions? Think, think, think. I already asked so many. Did anyone ask you about your uh, any questions about your foundation or or your interview? No. Mm, no. They never ask you tips for get. Oh, how tips for getting on foundation? Maybe. How did you get on Samson Foundation? I think I made three projects because we are diagnostic yeah. and I have some like photographers. Something from photographer. A level work. Yeah, because we got like we have a level, it's like the UK system. Um, so you both did the A level. Yeah, yeah, we are from international school, so we go some art lesson, and we just hand in everything we have because yeah. we need to show the art things. Uh, another question: Why did you guys choose CSM? <laughs> <laughs> Does the teacher also ask me like, because I think CSM is a place. The first thing is that the students, of course, the students around me, is, they are all like creative and um, like working really, really hard, and you can get lots of inspiration from the from your classmates or even uh, students from other pathway. Yeah, and also I think like CSM is a place that like the. The, especially like fashion, they not only like hear about fashion, but also they come by like the fine art things. Also, yeah. like I think CSM, uh, CSM fashion is like they come by like life and art and fashion type way together. Yeah, and I that is really a good thing and. Yeah, and I think that's the best place to go. Yeah. If you really like art, really like life, and really like fashion, if you want to go to CSM Fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think CSM Fashion would be CSM Fashion without all the art students and the art team and atmosphere in the school. And yeah. Like and you didn't apply for any other schools either, right? Yeah. You only applied for CSM. Yeah. Did, what were you thinking? Like a uh, plan B or anything when you were applying? Go back to no. China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go back to China and apply for another year. <laughs> that that's literally what I was thinking when I was mm -hmm. applying. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I only want to apply for CSM, and if this time doesn't work, I'm just gonna try again. I think it's it takes courage to do that, but if you know what you want, maybe just try and go for it without holding back. So why did you choose CSM? For me, one thing is you can get more opportunities in CSM. What kind of opportunities? 
because they got so many talented designers who graduate from it, so you can have more choice to go to their like brands or something and CSM could draw more attention from the outside world. Another thing is uh, as like as same as Maggie said, all your classmates around you they are so hard working. So under that pressure you won't let yourself like just sit at home and <laughs> play with your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like your foundation classmates are very hardworking? Yeah, some of them, they already got talented, like very good sewing skills. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. It's always very scary. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I really like the King's Cross building. <laughs> it's so amazing. Oh my god, I think it's amazing. Everybody yeah. loves it. The location is really good. <laughs> Things you didn't like about your foundation experience? Yeah, I think each project, uh, each project just went just gone so quickly. It's about one week, but it's really protects a uh, practice your productivity, so it's fine. We need to get suit of it. I think it's impossible for you to do it on your own in this kind of pace, like one week project, two weeks project. You need that push from school, mm -hmm. so maybe it's kind of a good thing. But I also, yeah, I understand that you feel your work is so rushed. But believe me, when you get like four weeks on BA for a project, <laughs> you feel like... Also rushed. Yeah, <laughs> and also like, so we're, we're given so much time, so how much work am I supposed to do and how much work they expect us to do. Yeah. Six garment for jersey project, four weeks. <laughs> That's wow. what we are doing right now. <laughs> and I'm still making my YouTube videos. <laughs> so crazy. Um, so, uh, so it's the same thing you feel rushed about the timetable. Did you feel like you actually learned a lot from foundation or just like now? Well, I think for my project, I learned some of the techniques, some some of the techniques from it, and then like for most of the most of the time, we just learn from each other and learn from the library. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah I think it's the same on BA, like once you're getting BA, you're gonna realize like it's all on your own. Yeah. Learn or not learn, feel it's worth it or not worth it, it's all up to you. Yeah, because I think art and design is very different thing from other subjects. Yeah. It's different on your own. Yeah. Yeah, because the teacher can't tell you which style you need to, you can do or what technique you can combine with, so all depend on yourself. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know, don't blame anyone but yourself, but don't blame yourself too much, that sort of thing. Do you, do you feel like you, like, I don't know, tried your best on your foundation here? Or you were holding back a little bit? Yeah, I think I can still sleep light or work harder just work harder you already yeah sleep, because yeah. during the time we I, I waiting for my offer I think there's still something I need to improve on why don't I do it before mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah yeah it's always like that like by the time you got to the interview you suddenly realize yeah you could have done yeah. so much more and so much better so always push yourself yeah. and kind of Remind yourself life is a learning process and other people are moving forward and if you don't you're gonna just be like even though you stand right there, you're gonna be so behind other people. Yeah, and another thing I think is that I should go to the library more often. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can see so I'm many of you. Yeah, I don't think I go to the library now. I just feel like it's so crowded. That's the thing. Like it's like always so crowded. I don't know. That's excuse though. I need to study harder as well. Yeah. What about you? The same. <laughs> like the same problem. Like sleep 
too much. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I don't really like present my. I don't think they're really like a bad thing, bad things. Like you always need to re improve. You know? Even it's like even you think like the uh, interview is like the biggest thing during the foundation, but it's still in the process. Go on the process, and you're still like improving, improving, improving. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you guys think like science and foundation is the same as they imagine, or did you imagine it to be something different? I think you both say the same. Yeah. You imagine yeah. it to be so fast yeah. and stressful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think another thing is that um, I don't speak to my foreigner classmates so much because I'm shy and I don't think <laughs> my English is enough. So well, that, we have yeah. been talking like an hour in English, so you're fine. Don't be shy. Yeah, so I haven't made so many foreigner friends. So I will try when I yeah, maybe got in the yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe that's the last question for this video. What's your expectation for yourself on BA? Your work goal? <laughs> yeah, work harder. Yeah. 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 yeah, and talk more. Talk more. Make more. Friends. Make more friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After all, it's like a fashion industry is more about yeah. a lot about. Mm -hmm. Connections in a way, and like people you know, and you learn from, like, like we are learning so much from upper, like second year and third year, and we're gonna help final year to do that event as well. Like you need to know a lot of people, and you really learn a lot from them. Especially now when you're on BA, you are with the best from the best in the whole world, and it's like take the opportunity. <laughs> Um, what about you? What's your goal? <laughs> Make more friends. I'm like... <laughs> my friends are much less than hers. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I thought you don't have enough friends. <laughs> I thought you are the shy one. So you are no. even more shy. More shy. <laughs> more shy. Yeah, more shy. Well, it sounds round a bit. Is it even real yeah. English? More shy. More shy. 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 Maybe shy. You are shy. Shy. You're shy. You're yeah, shy. You're shy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just really don't. Not even don't talk to foreigners too much. But also not even talk to Chinese, Chinese. people. <laughs> so what do you do? So shy. I just like when they talk, I just sit next to them and then listen. <laughs> okay, so you are that one that like, quiet and looking pretty, that's all. <laughs> I'm like the Admit. listener. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the reason why I love knitting because like my personality is like. Yeah, I was gonna say, knitters are a bit. kind of have some social issues to forget. <laughs> 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 yeah, that sort of thing. Um, I think we covered a lot. Need some editing, and hopefully this video will go up like this weekend. Yeah, maybe do your homework first. <laughs> yeah, yeah we we're, we're doing sewing class and stuff. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do you guys think this video is gonna be helpful? I hope so. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sure. Maybe our English is difficult to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. We are Chinese. <laughs> Give us a break. <laughs> I always got to uh, get asked to do Chinese videos, but like this is the way. Why I started this channel is because I want to push myself speak English more and. Like, especially, oh, I think, okay, one more question. Like, do you find the learning English very important for studying SSM? That's, 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 that's commonly the worst. I think so, but people don't talk about it enough. I don't know why. It's like, if you can't understand it, you, why bother to be here, right? Like, English is important. Yeah. Well, although, like, they're, they're like, score like the request require of score is like around 5.5 or 6 but you really need to get to like the 
and it's seven, like the level of seven that you could like stay comfortably in. Yeah. How much did you get when you got in college? Mine is six. Cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. But. But my IELTS like it's like expired, so yeah. <laughs> I need to t take it again. Uh, yeah, it happened to me as well. After I got my BA offer, my English score already expired, and didn't I didn't even know until very very late. Yeah, so maybe so next time I'll, I'll I'll just get five point five point five. <laughs> Don't you say it, you'll be fine. You have an offer, just put that offer on the wall when you start English. Yeah, you, you, you've come so far. Yeah, I think that's all. I really hope this video is helpful. I think I tried my best. I covered things I should cover and I shouldn't cover, which I'll edit. But yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. It's not too much, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's so hard to make people come and make a video with me. Everybody is so shy. It makes me feel like my my skin is like this thick or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Like, tell everyone your name again. Like so, in the future when they wear a design, they remember they saw you first time on my channel. <laughs> your name, Maggie Zhang. <laughs> 中文名,大家记住一下,中文名字。Yeah, uh, <laughs> so my English name is Su, and my Chinese name is Su Ge Chen. Our Chinese names are way cooler. So, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, and as always, I'm Jing Yi, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions we haven't covered, leave a comment down below, and I'll shamelessly ask them or answer them myself. And Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it's hard work to make these videos and yeah and thank you guys for your time and being here and answering all these questions for you guys. So this video is a thumbs up. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>